Miscarriages are very common in human reproduction. Um, good studies suggest that something on the order of 30 or 40 percent of conceptions uh, end as either a very early miscarriage, perhaps not recognized by the patient, uh, that is a miscarriage or loss of the pregnancy prior to the expected next period, or as a clinically apparent miscarriage occurring after a missed menstrual period. So um, the point being that this very common entity of pregnancy loss as early miscarriage or clinically apparent miscarriage um, will be experienced by many, many, many patients. Most experts believe that um, most miscarriages are due to chromosome abnormalities uh, that occur at the time of conception. It's crystal clear from studies that have been done using largely clinically apparent miscarriage material that chromosome abnormalities are common in spontaneous miscarriage. Um, if someone were to back off from the observation and say, well, why does that happen? I don't think we have a cosmic answer for that. The point, simply put, is that chromosome abnormalities are common in the occasional miscarriage that, that is also common in the reproductive population. A separate type of clinical presentation, though, is um, that of a patient with two or three miscarriages in a row. And those patients are, are anxious about their reproductive future. Usually, the couple is quite distraught about the possibility that they won't be able to have children. So that kind of patient, that is the patient with two or three miscarriages in a row, will often, if not usually, seek medical advice uh, regarding what are the possible causes and what might they do uh, to improve their likelihood of successful pregnancy.